everybody, this is again me, Eduardo Restrepo, Mr. Roboto. And today we're going to do a new tutorial about the new map for Bexcode VR. It's an, the newest map, it just got out three days ago, five days ago, sorry, five days ago on December 3rd. And I just found out today, that's why we're doing it right now. Just to let you know, it can be a little, a little challenging it can be a little challenging. I didn't know how to work on it at the beginning. It took me a while. It took me a while to figure it out. That's why I'm doing this tutorial. So it doesn't take you a while to figure it out. So first things first, right? First, we're going to watch actually the video that they have prepared for us, uh, our friends from Bex. Remember, Bex, uh, this map called the Planet Xbox. Planet Xbox. And remember, Xbox is actually a, one of the lines of toys from Bex, right? So we can see that in this planet Xbox, we are actually an Xbox Nano, which is this little Bristol race, uh, Bristol Bog, right? Uh, Bristol Bot. <laughs> there you go. It's a Bristol Bot uh, Bog. And what you do, you have this virtual uh, world where you have to survive, right? You have a lot of bugs that wants to kill you. You have to survive. You have to find food. You have to kill other bugs just to be sure they don't kill you. You have this map. You start here on the lower left. Then you have this map with like the bosses, right? We have like some scorpions there that can damage us pretty bad. So we have to be very careful about it. There's no one way to play this. There are many, 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 many ways to play this. So right now we're only going to take a look of how I did it. That doesn't mean it, it's the only way to do it. I'm just gonna go over some of the unique blocks created for this map. There are some blocks that are only for this map. So it's, it's very important that we know how to use them. Okay. Uh, as you can see, it matters is how many days you survived not necessarily how many uh, uh, enemies you killed. So it matters is that you get food, that you survive, You take a, it takes you a long time. So this can be a map that it can take you three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour or more, right? It depends on how well you program all the variables to survive in this world. So that's what matters. That's what we're gonna take a look at we're going to be able to uh, see how we actually attack enemies, how we, we survive in this world. And that's what really, really, really matters here. And that's what really uh, we're going to do. Uh, this is the, the scorpion I was telling you about. This is like the boss uh, style enemy. So you will see, you'll see. Right now, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the actual map. I'm going to show you the map. And in this map, you're going to see actually uh, how I solve it. Okay. It, as I said before, there's not only one way to play it. There's not only one way to play it. There are many ways to play it. So first things first, what do we see in our screen? So the first thing we see in our screen, we have this uh, mode where we have uh, the radar here, the sonar, in order to detect, right? Enemies is telling me. Where is the enemy, the angle? I can actually just have the map, very big map. I can have nothing or just this. I can have uh, the radar or the radar with the map, the small map. I prefer this one. This is the one I, I like because you can see where you are at and where you need to go, okay, in the map. And you don't really need this. My idea uh, to survive in this world is actually avoid the enemies. Just get your food, avoid the enemies. If they're trying to kill you, just avoid them. Okay, just run, continue, and do your thing. We're going to see how that works. <laughs> uh, first things first, we're going to see what are some of those unique blocks for this map. So first, we have one called Go Food, right? That means that you can go for the food, you can go to the enemy, you can go home. Which one is home? Where we start, right? This point here in the map. Or you can go to and look for an enemy in order to attack the enemy, right? Or go for food in order to eat the food. Once you 
uh, have beside that, you can go to the food and pick it up, or you can eat it or drop it, right? You can also attack the enemy if you see an enemy or they attack you, things like that. Other things that are unique in the events, we have two unique events uh, for this map. One is when under attack and the other one is when level up. So when we level up, what is going to happen or when we are under attack, what can we do? We can just do a 180 and run. We can do a 180 and see the enemy and attack the enemy. It's up to us, right? So those are one of the things we can do. Control is pretty much the same, same control blocks. Sensing, however, has a unique section for Xbox Sensing. Uh, you can detect the barrier level, food in the backpack, uh, your location, your level, XP, capacity. If you're under attack, what is going to happen? If you smell food or the enemy, if you see food, the enemy, home, an obstacle, hazard, I'm going to see how I, I, I use those blocks. So if you see a uh, hazard, which is uh, one of those elements that can kill you, like the river, for example, what are you going to do about it, right? Okay. Uh, if the food is in a certain direction, if food is close or the enemy is close, right? Or home or the obstacle hazard, the same. So we can actually use those in order to customize our whole uh, entire code. Now, what I'm going to do, the way I use the code is I first set up a variable called count here in variables, right? And I set it to zero. What I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat some code until the count equals or is greater than 10. Okay. That means that once I have 10 pills or 10 uh, batteries, right? I can go and do something else. And what I'm going to do is after I do that, I'm coming back home. Then I'm going to do some code with some specific blocks to come all the way here and then go straight over here, go across the bridge and then turn to the right uh, to look for the scorpion. Okay. I can do that right now. And then I have another block in order to continue in this, in this part. What is going to happen right now? Uh, just because of matter of time, I'm just going to put it if it's greater than zero, <laughs> meaning a uh, once you collect one pill is going to go to the home and it's going to do that part. So right here is going to pick a pill. Now it's going home because I say greater than zero. So we're going to do that second part. Okay. Just to save time and so you can see. So right now it's driving forward. Then it's going to turn to the left and it's going to go across that bridge. You're going to see that they're attacking him, uh, attacking me, but I'm avoiding it. Right. I have to avoid those hazards. Right. They don't kill me, but they actually, uh, I, I take a detour, right, if I crash against them. So I want to avoid that, right? because right now my goal is to go across that bridge, and I need to do it in a very specific way. I'm going to turn here, and it's going to go across that bridge. One of the good things is that I cannot fall from the bridge. So even if it goes against that little ledge, um, it, it just continues straight. That's a good thing. Once I go forward, this 3000 mil millimeters is going to turn heading into 90 degrees and it's going to go straight. We're going to see now the scorpion. The scorpion is waiting for us. We're going to run from that one. Okay. There's an enemy. Oh, no. The scorpion is right here. We actually avoid it. But there's another scorpion coming. Okay. What I need to do, I need to take one of those pills of food before the scorpion sees me because other one is going to kill me from one strike so i need that i need it i need it oh my god it killed me right because i didn't have enough energy from the beginning right now of course we didn't really survive much because we that right now we're just showing you how to do it you have to play a lot with this so the way i did it is once uh, I was uh, uh, going straight forward. Then, if I was, if my, um, if my bug 
saw any food, was going to go for the food, pick it up and eat it, and then change one in the count. So it's one pill. And then three conditionals. One, if you see an obstacle, it was going to turn to the right. If it is a hazard, it's going to turn certain angle, 60 degrees. And if, it is an en if there is an enemy uh, in a distance uh, less than 50 millimeters, attack that enemy, okay? Just as a, as, as a defense plan, right? Just to be sure it doesn't kill me. But that's all I'm going to do. I, I wasn't really attacking any of the, of the enemies. I was avoiding them. Now, I'm going to show you how is the certificate. Once you get the certificate, uh, you get a certificate like this one. So in my case, uh, my record is 4.1, a 28th experience, 14 pills consumed, no enemy skill. And as you can see, but I'm, I'm the only one in Colombia. <laughs> the only one in Colombia has played. I'm in the, in, within the first thousand of people that have played. So feel very fortunate of, of playing it right now. I'm going to show you uh, here how, uh, what is the record? Okay. Record is 52.3 days. Somebody from Ohio in the, in the States, right? And three enemy defeaties and 21 pills consumed. Now, there are some very reasonable uh, records, as you can see, 13, 11, 10, blah, 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 right? I'm gonna take a look at the US, so uh, just in the United States, uh, that's the record right now, uh, but you know, in the second, uh, there's people with 10. So a lot of people have played it, but the record is in Ohio right now. So we just wanted to show you how it looks like. That's it. So you can uh, have an idea of how to work with it, how to work with this uh, map. Okay, that's it. All I'm going to tell you is I hope that you have actually uh, a blast, that you have a blast actually playing with this map. Just enjoy it, play a lot, find what strategy works better for you. In that way, you should be able to become a big school master in the planet Xbox. Remember, this was Mr. Roboto, Robotica para mentes inquietas, robotics for curious minds. Have a good day. See you around, guys.